Okay, this is part two of the pen tool tutorial for tracing things, uh, tracing objects and doing a vector image, okay? And uh, we're picking up right where we left off. Um, I kind of paused it and then went ahead so we could finish up, um, save some time for you guys. So we've got the violin here and I've got it like 99% traced in, okay? So I want to zoom in on this area. And I just want to show you how you can complete this object. If you go to my pen tool here, and you can see I'm at this point here. Also, here's another thing. If you had accidentally like stopped drawing, you wanted to recon uh, you know, continue where you left off, you just got to take your pen tool and click on any anchor point. And now it's going to uh, continue from that point. So it's like I started up again. And then I'm just going to go to this anchor point where we started 20 minutes ago. I'm going to click that. And now this entire thing is turned into a whole object. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to complete this area so the neck can be a different color when I fill this in. So I'm going to hold down Command and click off of it. And now that's deselected everything and my anchor points are pretty much uh, ready to start again. I'm going to put an anchor point here, 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 and there. And the anchor points make it a closed object. So if I were to fill in this area, it'd be like uh, the paint bucket wouldn't spill all into the rest of this. Okay, so now I can zoom out a little bit. And I can turn off my background layer, and you can see I've got this outlined in pretty well. Again, I can command, click anywhere into the artboard, and take a look at what I've got. Okay, now at this point, what I want to do is, um, let me show you two things. First, let me look at this spot. I know there's a little, like, neck rest here, but let's just say that uh, it might look funny if I weren't going to paint that in a different color. So I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to show you how you can adjust points. I can take this direct selection tool here, and I can click right on those anchor points and I can pull up those old handles if I wanted to twist them and I can hold down the space bar just like we were doing and that can actually move that anchor point or I can click directly on that anchor point and just pull that around okay again I've got that extra um, handle in there so that curves a little funky so that's something that we uh, didn't really account for but that's okay so now I'm gonna do command zero pull me back to full zoom and I want to show you how to fill this in Okay, this is actually pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to click on your regular selection tool, and I'm just going to select everything, drag over it, or you can just at this point just click on that part and hold shift to grab this extra spot. So now everything's selected, and I want to go up to the object menu, drop down, uh, drag down to live paint, and go over to make. Okay, now this has become a, a live object. So what I can do is I can go over to my paint bucket over here. This is the live paint bucket. Click on that. And you can see it highlights these certain areas where there's like a boundary, right? And I want to go into my color palette and I want to paint the neck black. Choose the black color here, right? And when you see it's going to fill in that area, just like highlights it, click on that. That's black. And now I want to pick a, uh, you know, sort of a violinish color, brownish color here. Make it a little bit darker for the wood body of the violin. And I just click on that. And now my violin is essentially colored in. Um, for the project, this is just a practice. So what I would like you to do is the same thing. I want you to just get the uh, curves drawn in with the pen tool properly with this. Get the neck drawn in properly. And then paint, you know, one black and one brown. That'll just show me that you know how to do the, um, the pen tool work with the uh, live trace, uh, making it a live object, and also the live paint bucket. And then again, you know, we can look in all this glory, we can zoom in so far on this violin, and look how sharp those edges are, right? Command zero, center it out again, and we can turn on our old layer at the bottom, and you can see if I were to uh, unlock that and move this over, we got a pretty cool looking violin there, okay? Thanks for watching.